everybody, it's Beth Varian here with Webmaster for Hire. How are you doing? We are going to be discussing the website design trends for this year. Normally we do this video back in December, but with all the changes with WordPress and Google and Facebook, oh my, what a crazy year it's been. So before we go forward, I want to ask if you like the video, please let me know by hitting that thumbs up. Subscribe to the video to catch any new videos that we put out this year. And if you comment below, I'm excited to read them and I'm the one who's going to be responding. Alrighty, let's jump right on in. So today we're going to be discussing the top website design trends of 2019. We're going to be discussing uh, the designs that are practical for your business online, uh, business's online presence. We're going to discuss the ways to properly integrate the right trends for your target audience. Let's get started. So what are those design trends for this year? Well, some are similar to last year, but modified. And some are completely brand new out of the box. So let's start with the top one, large images. They are getting larger than they were last year. Last year we were saying, you know, you need to shift away from images that are most definitely um, stock photography and shift to more natural, real people in the image uh, photos. So that has not gone away, but now the images have gotten larger. And natural organic shapes, bring, you're going to see circles and squares and triangles, remember elementary school. <laughs> they're coming into play, but they're going to look very natural. They're going to be subtle and they're going to flow with the design. One I should add on there is you're going to see some more cartoon-like images as well instead of just the people images. And you're going to find that they'll either be modified uh, stock um, graphics or they're going to be uniquely designed for that website because they're going to carry a color scheme throughout the site. Uh, slants and diagonals, as this slide shows you, it adds a dramatic effect. In addition to adding drama to the site's design, the uh, diagonals, the points are going to guide the eyes of your visitor down into important areas, making sure that they keep a nice flow. Which I should say, the horizontal sections, they're still around, but they're going to start fading out. So by 2020, you're going to see less and less of those horizontals. So there's a heads up for you for next year. But the slants and diagonals are starting to lend that way of keeping a very consistent long scroll that looks like it's all one and it's meant to be consistently together. Flat images appearing 3D. This is going to be for both the um, product uh, industry as well as services and hospitality because we're going to be creating more of that virtual um, website appeal without having actual VR. Um, I still have my goggles. I hardly ever use them. <laughs> uh, vibrant, saturated color schemes. Those bright, brilliant colors are not going away. In fact, they've gotten bolder. You're seeing more fuchsias, more neon uh, oranges, more brilliant, bright colors. But look at this next one. It absolutely is the absolute opposite of what I just said. So the vibrant colors is one, but minimalism is coming strongly. And which is kind of funny because it's minimalism, not so strong. <laughs> so minimalism is being wonderfully used and executed for creative businesses. We have a client that does oils and uh, watercolors. And we launched his black and white site where the only color on the site was his work. It made his work really pop well. So let's get on to my other favorite topic, fonts. <laughs> I am still a font freak. So let's talk about those beautiful fonts. They are going more contemporary, more modern appeal and bigger. 
everything's bigger. So the internet is turning into Texas. <laughs> so we use the Lado font here, and this little black pop-out is from What's Font uh, extension. So if you're interested in it, you can look it up. And you can see we've increased the body font size. Last year we were telling you take those 14 and 12 uh, uh, pixel fonts and make them bigger. Now we're telling you not 16 and 18, but look, ours is 20. I've seen up to 28 pixel font, but you have to be careful of the font family because this font as a 30 would be too big. But some of the smaller um, fonts that already come in looking a little smaller, they can go much larger, especially if they've got some curly Q to it, makes it more readable. But bigger fonts for certain. And the reason is for the large images and the large fonts, our phones, look, this is my head. It's getting bigger. This is the, uh, the S9 uh, Plus, the Galaxy. And the S10, I'm told, is just a little bigger. And iPhones, you guys are catching up with us in size as well. So as those get bigger, the fonts get bigger, the images get bigger. It makes it easier to read in the screens. But it's still beautiful even on desktop. Now, vintage typography. We haven't seen vintage typography popping in web design since, I don't know, the 90s, I think it was the last time I saw it. But it is coming back. Retro is in. I don't know if this is going to be a trend that's going to stay around or if it's just the trend for the year. We're going to have to watch that and see how it's done. And the right businesses can get away with it. I don't know that I would utilize this for a medical um, legal or financial business. Medical we could if that went with the flow of the theme of, of the medical, but typically this would be something that I would use for more of a fun business site. And then just like in design, we have opposites for trend in fonts. So we have the vintage, which has more curly cues, more strokes, um, more added um, ornaments, into the font to now the serif fonts. Um, we grab this image uh, just to give credit where credit is due from Neil Patel's site. If you've been in the marketing world for any time at all, you will have heard of Neil Patel. If you haven't, I recommend you go check him out. But this beautifully shows, even though you've got some you know little hooks and crooks there, it's still evenly spaced. It's very nice and plain, um, and they are beautiful when you go wider. And again, it lends itself to more the contemporary modern, which again is opposite of the vintage. But the vintage isn't going to be for everybody. So before we move forward, oh, we got one more. Then this one kind of starts putting a toe into development, not into um, design. However, if you're going to be starting from a design standpoint, the very first thing the customer tells you is, I want that ultimate wow factor. What's that famous line, right? We all have heard it. Well, movement is what they're talking about many times. They want that wow. So if you're giving them a flat image, you can always just stipulate, this will be doing this. Once we get to the development phase, you'll be able to see it best. So purposeful animation is definitely popping up. We don't want the wow factor to be bam, 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 and freak out the brain and the eyes and people bounce out. Because anyone in marketing knows bounce is not our favorite word. So videos are also coming and not, well, they've been around, they're not going away. And I should put on there, but I didn't want to, you know, get all the designers, you know, angry and up in arms so soon, but I should put in there, parallax is not going away yet. Sorry. <laughs> but it can still be done tastefully. Um, it doesn't have to be um, all over the place, every other um, horizontal space. And again, we're going more all one consistent look, so you can do it right. Alrighty, let me get you some examples so you know exactly what I'm talking about here. So, this is my site. This is Webmaster for Hire's website. Um, it is the same site that we had in late 2017, so you probably saw this last year. 
We have made some tweaks to it. We already had and had already gone with the large images um, or fonts for the style. And as you can tell, we embrace the, the bold colors. We still currently have the horizontal spacing. But like I said, going into 2020, that's going to change and we're already starting on the new design. The lower pages, this is where we made more changes. We increased the body font and we got rid of this. We added the feature image instead of just having a small image there or just the text. Um, we have the large images here and then we got rid of all the little images throughout the body text and added either one or two large images to break up that text to make it easier to read. And especially since Google now says really long blog posts are going to get their attention. And if you haven't paid attention in March, the algorithm Florida, since I'm in Florida, I love the name and I'm glad it's not an animal again. Um, but that rolled out in March. So you really want to pay attention to it regarding content. That's not discussing design. We'll discuss that another day. Okay, so this year, instead of going and grabbing websites, I went and grabbed a bunch of themes from Theme Forest. And I left it the location bar in case you like one of these themes. You can tell your designer, or if you are a designer that uses themes, you'll know where to go and exactly which one it is. So this is Kodak's theme. This is their gem and the demo called Medical. One moment. And this one does beautifully with color and the diagonals. So you see the brilliant blue. Color doesn't mean it has to be the fuchsias everywhere, but they did tie in the fuchsia. But look how that diagonal um, brings your eye down. Look how consistent this looks, how large the images of the people appear. You kind of feel like you're almost next to them. Not quite that large, but large enough. This font I would definitely increase. You can see the difference in readability from the larger fonts. Some designers prefer a smaller font, but if you're going to be focused on keeping with the trends, keeping with mobile, you really want to increase your large font. Here's the extension I was telling you about. Let's grab it and I'll show you. Um, this is a Sans font, uh, Source Sans Pro, but it's a 16 pixel font. That's what we were telling you to do last year. I would bump this up and with that font, I would probably go to a 20. Even on the home page, you really want to start grabbing those larger fonts. We've got some movement that's been around for a long time, you know, with the rolling numbers. Um, you can see the beautiful colors, but look here, they're tying in the beautiful colors in with back with the white space. And I'm a designer that loves white space. It doesn't mean that it's for everybody or every business, but I love it because it, it's nice and clean. And then we bring in the diagonals again at the bottom with the pops of color, as you can see. They still have their separated spaces, but they've done it beautifully by using those angles and diagonals and points, I should say. Now we're going to go a little bit opposite. We're going to show you the organic shaping and this is minimalist with pop of color. So it really ties in and I love this theme and there are a couple of um, web marketers out there that are using uh, designs very simple or similar to this. And I know Neil Patel keeps his kind of like this as well. I was trying to think of what the other one was called, something green. Sorry guys, I don't remember your name right now. Um, but anyway, so if you look, we've got the shapes added in, we've got the pops of color, you've got still some of the hovering going on, that's not going to go away, but we're bringing this circle in the background subtly, organically down and tying it in with the photos. So it's beautifully well done, minimalist style, but it's adding in the shapes it's not using the blocks of horizontal sections and it's still giving a beautiful appeal and 
getting your attention. And again, you're seeing that, that the organic shapes are just really flowing down. It is um, leaning towards minimalist, but it's not boring minimalist, in my opinion. And of course, design is subjective. This is minimalist. <laughs> Minimalism at its finest. And I have to tell you, I really think it was executed well. Now, this will definitely be for more of a blogger site. Well, I'm on the blog page. Um, this is Crate. I'm not telling you all of them, but you can see them up in the top. I'm going to put them all these links in the body content on our website where we embed this video um, because we'll also have this as audio and because this is a very visual topic we need to get our audio listeners some links to go see what the heck we're talking about but you can see the black and white is just beautiful even with the images but if those images see here with her glasses she has a pop of color and it draws the attention in not boring Again, design is subjective. Okay, this one, I love this one. It not only shows the large images, 3D, flat images as 3D. It's minimalist with a pop of color, and you got those beautiful diagonals in there. Talk about the ultimate theme that shows all the trends in one. You can see, really, the details of the product. And you've got the diagonals that, that breaks up the section, but it keeps the focus where it needs to be. It's on these headphones. And having the attention on that product is perfect. It's what we're here to do is promote our products, services. If you're a blogger or um, seeking to be an influencer, you're, you're promoting um, for ads. So you know, getting the showcasing the very thing that you're trying to focus on is done impeccably with the large images in this case. I can see the material. I can feel and get an idea of that cushioning on the headphones. I can feel like I could put it over my head even though it's on my computer. The smaller images just never gave this much dimension. And then not to be leaving anything out, they even add in some beautiful, slight, subtle movement here on the headphones themselves. So they're still spotlighting the proper um, product focus, but they're adding some movement to give a little bit of that wow factor. And then if you go down, you can see they're showing the headphones in um, various positions. And then look right there, bam, pop of color, 3D image, large font and still minimalist background. <laughs> you don't get better than showcasing the trends than this theme. So let's talk about some of the movement now. So this is a political site and I could care less about the politics side. I don't care what country you're in. I'm kind of over it at this point. Um, but the zooming in on the image, that's all that is, but it gives it what a lot of business owners are wanting, that bit of a wow factor that doesn't load the code on the site. Most every builder out there has this feature. Your, um, well, it's not Visual Composer anymore. It's the WP Bakery, um, the Elementor, and the Divi theme builder. Almost all of them allow the hovering um, or the zoom in on the image. It's subtle. It doesn't take away from those beautiful big fonts in the slide. And if you scroll down, they added the video right there. And video on the homepage, I am definitely not against. You know, video, they say, you know, photos are worth, you know, one photo is worth a thousand words. Well, images give you the thousand words and gives you more of the speaker's inflections, the um, more of the concept of the owner's inflections versus you trying to put your own kind of going, well, I think they mean this. Video, it's pretty, pretty close. And if you can't tell, I am all about being perfectly imperfect. So this is not an edited video. It's a one shot video that I'm creating today. I leave my flaws in. That's a video for another day because that truly is the Oprah effect of being relatable. Um, again, I would take this font a little bigger and then when you come down here, you still have the 
uh, sliding images for the logos. I don't see those as often these days. They're only really good for if you want to showcase a massive amount of images without looking too cluttered. Okay, this next one that I'm going to show you. What they did here, I would not recommend for every business site out there. Um, it can definitely be a little bit too much wow. I came here to showcase because they were using brilliant colors in their themes, but this page that shows off all the demo options actually had a very beautifully executed movement on a page. It's going to be more than what most websites should be doing. In this case, it's a creative site. It's showcasing their creative abilities. It's absolutely perfect. You know I like that background because it absolutely mimics mine. <laughs> so of course I'm gonna like it. Um, but watch the movement as I scroll down. We're gonna go off the slider, off the page bringing in all the elements, sliding them in timely, and then down. And when we get down, we see their brilliant colors, that very vibrant colors that are being used. Now, obviously, if you buy the theme, you don't want to use their images. And there it is. There's Parallax. <laughs> business owners still love this. And if you're a business owner wondering why I'm laughing about this, is because every time I talk about Parallax, Somebody inevitably sends me an inbox message or makes a comment, please tell Parallax to go away. Parallax just is a, an image in the, that looks like it's in the background and the site's going over it if you're not familiar. Um, but it can be used in a very nice way, but it's not every other section now. We can use it in one spot for that hint of wow. Now watch as everything moves away. Bye-bye, and here we go. So that's a little bit more than you would do on most business websites, but for a creative website, if you're a designer and you're loving that, go for it. And the very last but not least, there is video. Now I wanna show you, and I purposely didn't put it up here just so you can see one of the problems with videos, but one that was used um, actually pretty well, if, if you ask me. Um, Let's see, let's open a new tab and let's go to, oops, back, answer the public. If you're in marketing or if you're a business owner that likes to write your own blog posts, you need to know this site. It's wonderful for getting content ideas. So it has a longer page. It doesn't necessarily need it, um, but they are doing their coverage book. Um, courses but this video this guy's gonna get annoyed with me he's gonna start cussing me out here in a minute because what he wants me to do is get down here and fill in the box for the keyword that I'm trying to write see there he goes cussing me out while I was talking though after I typed in the domain name what you may have noticed is it took a little bit to come down because I visit this site the video is cached if I'm new to the site it's a slower download it's perfect for this site. I don't know if I have a guy cussing out my visitors all the time. <laughs> I don't know if he's cussing, but he, he's uh, not too thrilled with me. But it does add that bit of a wow factor. In fact, the first time I saw it, I'm like, ooh, what's he doing? <laughs> so those are themes that cover all of the uh, website design trends. Oops, let's hit that one website design trends for 2019 for design themselves.